Hey there, my name is Provis. Welcome to the third and final briefing for Surviving Mars' upcoming expansion, Below and Beyond. As a quick recap, we've covered lucrative opportunities for both asteroid mining and exploring the Mars underground. Both of those are features that are exclusive to the expansion, but to add icing to the cake, there are a number of free features that you can look forward to in the upcoming Picard update, releasing alongside the expansion. First, and perhaps most exciting, we have a new building. The amphitheater is a new recreational structure where colonists can perform or listen to recitals. Pretty appropriate for the Picard update, huh? It doesn't take up a lot of space, and it satisfies social, relaxation, and most importantly, luxury needs. The amphitheater does take polymers to maintain, but isn't nearly as costly as an art store, so a cheaper early game option to meet luxury needs is a very welcome addition to the game. There are also a few quality of life and UI upgrades that will improve your gaming experience. Hold down Control, or Y for Xbox, or Triangle for PlayStation, when placing a building, and you'll get a quick view of the dust range of all other buildings, making it easier than ever to build an efficient colony and minimize maintenance. You'll also find new icons highlighting any cable or pipe leaks. Plus, you can cycle through power grids and life support grids by simply clicking on their corresponding resource up above. Again, just makes keeping track of your colony infrastructure a little easier. And speaking of resources, the top UI tooltips will offer you more information than before, which is always helpful. And another cool thing, you can rearrange your research queue, rather than clear it all out and start again. Very nice. A few other nice features off the top of my head. You can automatically restrict dome births once you run out of housing, colonist filters have been improved, and you can rename your colony. I vote for New Ulm. Can't go wrong. And lastly, a few features have been rebalanced, such as less residence slots and higher maintenance for smart apartments, lower capacity but higher satisfaction at the medical post, and lower odds of receiving genius traits at the school spire. I think that's about it. Short and straightforward, but certainly impactful. There's definitely a lot to look forward to in the upcoming expansion below and beyond. New maps, new resources, new ways to colonize Mars. I hope you have fun out there, but most importantly, I hope you do humanity proud. We're counting on you. Again, my name is Promise. Thanks for watching, I hope you found these briefings helpful, and I'll see you guys next time.